morning uh, from Chessington World of Adventures today. I honestly cannot tell you how excited I am to be back in a theme park. Um, it's near the end of July, so we're in post-COVID mode. At, well, I say post-COVID, COVID's still a thing, but we are in the reopening since COVID closed the parks. Um, so far, I'd say it's first thing in the morning, um, and so far i say our experience has been okay. I didn't film anything before because I was a little nervous about coming into the park. We had to pre-book tickets, so that's something if you're looking to go to a UK theme park at the moment, you have to buy your tickets before you come because there's limited capacity. I'm with my friend Joe. We think we got maybe like the last two tickets because there were none left and then there was this fluke and we managed to get two tickets in our basket. So put it this way, this is as busy as it's gonna get. Now you can see behind me, it's completely empty. Wasn't the case when we were coming in. Very, very busy as we were arriving. So I would say, to potentially, yeah, I think it's this way. I would say, because you've already got your ticket, it's not a case of will I get into the park or not. Maybe don't get to the opening for 10 a.m. Maybe get there half an hour, hour later. Because as you can see behind me, it's already empty because it's just like a little bottleneck at the beginning. Um, some interesting things I've noticed. You don't have to wear masks, as you can see. You have to wear them on certain rides, and I think Joe and I will also be wearing them if we're in places where we're feeling like it's really busy. But, you know, so far feeling quite empty. Do you feel safe, Joe? Yeah, I feel safe. Yeah, so. There's like literally nobody around. No, like, and I think we felt, so when you arrive in Chessington, there's a huge ride called Dragon's Fury as soon as you get into the entrance. It's like 75 minute 75 wait. minute wait. And I think it is that classic thing of people just come and they go on the first thing they see. But we're walking over towards a ride called Vampire. I've not been to Chessington for years. Joe's not been for about 15 years, <laughs> which is mad. Um, so we both have like childhood memories of this park. So Vampire is like a, dangly foot ride can hear it oh here we go here we go so this is what we're going on so it'll be interesting to see how long this wait line is the time for vampire was an hour so we decided to look elsewhere and we've come across what we remember as a ride called professor burp's bubble works um it's actually now the gruffalo now this is 35 minutes and as you can see it's mandatory to wear a mask on this ride but i would say everyone's being super respectful with the line keeping their distance, um, everyone's wearing their masks where they need to, so, so far so good. It's just so strange being back here. This used to be a really spooky town called Transylvania, and now it's, it's just so different, everything's changed. And we were saying, because we don't know this park too well, it's so strange coming here and not somewhere like Disney, where we're like, we know what we wanna do, we have a plan, and we're just like, oh, don't know what to do now, don't know where to go, so we'll probably just wing it as we go along. Um, it's a nice chill day, the weather's good, so we can just enjoy ourselves. So as I said, I'm pretty sure today is as busy as the park is ever going to get. Um, this was not a half hour wait. We've been waiting probably about 10 minutes or so, no more than 15, and we're already right at the front. This is bringing back so many memories. I love this ride on its old theming, and it's got all the same smells. Oh, I love it. To Professor Burt, it just brought back all the memories. Loved it, and the, um, had so many smells as we went through as well. Like those really strong smells of grass and things like that. It was it was really cool. And as you saw, I loved the fountains at the end. Um, we're a bit peckish, so we've come for a day nap. The way the mask situation works here, I can't remember if I said, is you don't have to wear one everywhere, but there are certain points where you do. So queuing for food, you need to wear a mask. In certain rides, you need to wear a mask. Um, I'd also say like busyness levels is definitely like pockets are busy and then you get spots like this where there's no one there again so yeah and generally people are following rules i would say there are a few people like cast members not wearing their masks and there are guests not wearing them in places they should be and it's not being reinforced but 
I think if you just look after yourself, stay sensible. They've got little paw prints on the floor, I'll show you in a sec, which means that you've got to stay paw prints away from each other, so they're helping you keep that distance that way as well. So overall, I think they are doing a good job, and they've got hand sanitizer at every ride, so you can wash your hands. Again, it's not being enforced. I would say that. They're not making people do it. Um, so the measures are there, but the enforcement, maybe not so much. Got our donuts. Just met the most lovely family who watched these vlogs. So thank you so much to Joseph and Lydia for saying hello. It was really, really lovely to meet you. And we all got our donuts, which is extra good. So you could get like five donuts for six pounds something, but we didn't want five. So we've got a traditional donut for 1.95. It's warm and I, my mouth is actually watering now. I can't even tell you. Reminds me of Brighton Pier and like the traditional made donuts. Oh, it's so good. It's so yummy. Did you get sauce with yours? Mm -hmm. You could have got sauce as well, but that, that is an incredible donut. So, we're not quite sure what's going on with the wait times. Gruffalo was saying 40 minutes. 10 to 15 tops. We've come to Rattlesnake and it's saying 65 minutes, so over an hour. I'm yet to see the queue, unless it is like down inside, but we'll report back on what the times are actually like because I can't see this being over an hour to get onto this ride. Masked up and having fun. That was so much fun. It was just them. Um, I realised how long it's been since I've been on a ride. It was like a complete like adrenaline thing again, like an adrenaline rush again. It was so good. Wasn't allowed to take this on. But um half an hour wait, not 65 minute wait. So I think what's happening is they're seeing where the people are up to in the line and saying, oh that would be the time it would be normally. But obviously we've got social distancing in place, so the line looks longer than it actually is. Where to next? Safari? Yeah. Safari time. It's about an hour's wait for the safari. Um, I think the reason it's taking so long is it's reduced numbers on the safari cars. So they've left a, a lane between each row of seats. So there's one row and then no row and then one row and then no row. And then obviously no more than one party per row. Um, I rode this ride six years ago. I can't really remember what happens. So, just looking forward to see the animals. Now, look closely, everyone. Make sure that the animals you can see. So that it does look like a really nice hotel. Getting all the animal kingdom. Here. They also sleep for no more than five minutes at a time. Uh, uh, that's because they spend the all day eating. They're just wonderful. Which is why it's vital we continue our efforts to preserve this magnificent species. When you come off the safari, you can go through 
I don't know if it's a zoo, I don't know if that's what you want to call it, but there's lots of animals so you can walk through the monkeys and then once you walk through the monkeys you get to the penguins and they're so cute and they've got these little signs up at the moment saying they're looking a little scruffy at the moment because they're having their seasonal molt which would apparently also happen in the wild but yeah they're so sweet there is a proper little scruff pot just up there very cute Yes, he's in. Yeah. He's setting a trend, see he's about to go in as well. Here he goes. Bad in. So we're currently in line for Scorpion Valley, which is basically a bit like Big Thunder Mountain. Uh, so a runaway train type ride. Have to wear masks on this one. We think it's because rides where you might scream, you have to wear your mask. So I think we think that that's probably what the issue is. Um, issue? Reason is. Um, this was going to be just like a quick 10 minute walk on, but we've had to wait because every half hour they clean the ride down completely to make sure it's nice and clean, nice and safe for everyone coming. But no, overall, it's just been a really nice chilled day, just really enjoying being out and doing something that's not just sitting on the sofa. It's just really nice and spending the day with Joe as well. It's just really nice. We've come into I don't know what it's called, but Vampire Burger, something like that. It's basically kind of a bit like McDonald's. This, I would say, is the best part of the entire park for safety measures. As you can see, they're doing takeaway only, so it is completely empty in here. We were made, someone was watching to make sure we hand sanitised our hands before doing the touch screens, and then it is takeout only, so you go and find a picnic bench or something outside. So, so impressed within here, and it's just we're saying it's actually really quite nice. Like the decor and everything. I'm sure it'll feel quite different when it's packed, but no, very impressed with this area. Yeah, so as I was saying, really, really impressed. There's been a lot of parts about the park today where I'm a bit like, it's quite busy. I'm not sure about the social distancing, but the food service there was absolutely amazing. Um, so for 10.25, I got myself some mozzarella sticks, just in there, uh, chicken, chicken supreme kind of burger thing, chips, and then they basically supplied Every, I was worried I wasn't going to have sauces for my chips and then I open the bag and it's like every sauce under the sun. So we're going to tuck in and enjoy this. Hello everyone. So uh, I'm back home. <laughs> As you can see, no longer at Chessington. Um, had a really lovely day. There is a reason why you didn't see too much more of the afternoon post-lunch and that's kind of because not much was happening to show you. So essentially, um, we went on to... I think it's called Tomb Blaster, which is a bit like, a, it's one of those shooting laser games uh, where you have to shoot the, shoot the scarab beetles in a kind of ancient pharaoh's tomb thing. I remember I really enjoyed it as a kid and it was really fun. Um, I was a bit nervous on that ride because obviously you have to hold the guns and I, for the whole day, kind of avoided touching the handlebars and stuff like that. But you do have to avoid the gun, you do have to hold the guns. So I did, you know, fully clean my hands before and after did get irritated on that ride because there were a number of people taking their masks off while waiting for the ride to start. No one told them to put them back on. I was not impressed. Uh, and then we queued, we began queuing for a log flume ride, but then it broke down. So then we went on Vampire at the end of the day and you can see the a bit of the ride there, which was, I loved it. It was so much fun. It's a proper thrill ride. You got, yeah, hanging legs. You go really fast. You swing as well like a bat and you go through parts of the park, which is really, really cool. It is, it is very, very fun. And then we just wrapped up the day by, um, so Trestington before it was a theme park was a zoo and they've maintained a bit of that um, with some animals and we just saw the cutest baby gorilla. He was so sweet. Um, I'm going to be so honest here, this is the thing, I'm not going to spin you something and say what an incredible day it was, when it wasn't. Now don't get me wrong, Joe and I had a lovely day, we really really enjoyed the day as it was, however, we're in a pandemic and we went to Chessington under the impression that there were a number of strategies and procedures in place that will help reduce risk. 
a lot of those were not happening and I think okay first one the fact that you have to pre-order your tickets suggests that there are limited numbers in the park that was potentially one of the busiest days I have ever seen Chessington. Now, the issue with a park like Chessington is there are some spaces where it's just great because they're wide, they're open, and it's really, really easy to social distance. However, there are other areas, uh, like outside the Gruffalo Road, where the, the, the pathways, the walkways are really quite narrow, um, and they're very bottleneck areas. Now, Joe and I, we avoided these areas because we didn't feel comfortable in them. However, the number of people who were just sat out right next to each other no social distancing going on not wearing masks anything like that that was my second issue i was again under the impression it would be similar to disney and that masks masks would be mandatory at all times they were not they were mandatory only on certain rides which i think actually made the situation more difficult now i wore my mask in in all of the queues because i just felt more comfortable doing that it seemed bizarre to me that you shouldn't have to wear a mask in a queue and yet when you're on a ride with just your party in it, something like the rattlesnake where it was just me and Joe in this, in this ride, in this carriage, we then had to wear our masks. So that was bizarre. We both noted that at the start of the day, people were really good, really cautious. I think I talked about it in the vlog um, and about how people were following the little paw print stickers on the floor. Um, by the end of the day, I had kids bumping into my backpack. like can you please stay two meters away from me another thing that they say on the advert is that they will stay they'll have a row of guests and then a free row on the ride and then another row they didn't do that they did it on the safari which again it seems bizarre that on a ride where it is literally just a truck ride so there's no like thrill or anything like that you, no one's screaming you know this that and the other that they spaced you out there but they didn't space you out on so anyway, but you know, I didn't, I didn't feel unsafe per se, um, but, but both Joe and I said, if we'd known what the situation was actually like, I don't think we'd have gone, nor am I planning to go back this summer. So, you know, I had a lovely day, but again, it's quite a lot of money for five rides, which is how many rides we did in the end of the day, because every queue we were in was either 40 to 60 minutes. Now, fine. Like, I know you go to a theme park and I know you queue, but I think that because we were under the impression it'd be limited numbers, we were thinking, oh, maybe the lines will be a bit shorter, but they absolutely went. And as I said, it just was not quiet in the slightest at all. So, you know, if you are thinking going, just be conscious that it's not gonna be as quiet as you might expect. And I think my biggest pet peeve was that these rules were in place, but none of the cast members, none of the people working at the park were one, enforcing them or two, following themselves. Like the number of people we saw who had their masks, who worked at the park under their chin or, you know, not covering their nose. And it's like, well, if you're not gonna follow it, how can you expect the guests to follow it? Now, again, that doesn't go for all of the cast members. Some of them were great and, you know, lovely, but, oh, and the other thing, sorry, I'm, I'm going into full on ramp. Um, you know, they, they say that they've got anti-back at the ride and you're meant to put it on start and end of every time you go on a ride. Well, it was there, not once we were asked to, to use it. Joe and I did, obviously, every time, but I didn't see anyone else doing it. However, ran over one area that was absolutely exceptional was the food and i i've talked about how brilliant that was but there you know they had the hand sanitizer an automatic one there was someone there explicitly saying please can you hand sanitize your, your hands um before you make your order and stuff i think i just expected it to be like that throughout the park but yeah you know i did we had a really good day so yeah it would be great to hear have any of you been to any british theme parks uh, and if so what was your experience like so do let me know in the comments below um thank you so much for watching um and there are more trips ahead this year just just not back to chessington um there are more trips so be looking out for some announcement videos coming your way very soon very exciting cannot wait to share them with you um so until next time see you later